All right. Good luck. Wait, where's my type thing? There we go. We're going to see a king's gambit. I want to see a king's gambit. Oh, let's play c5. Wait. Okay, volume's on. Oh dear. What did we play? Oh, we played that weird line last time. Let's play... D6. Let's play something D4. standard. Um, C takes D4. C takes D4. Knight takes D4. Knight F6. Knight C3. G6. Mm -hmm. Bishop E3. Oh, we're playing some main line. Bishop G7. F3. Oh man. I was teaching a student this earlier today. Short castle. Queen D2. Yeah. Knight C6. Bishop C4. This is all still kind of prep. Bishop D7. Long castle. So long castling rook C8. Rook C8. Bishop B3. This is still theory. Knight takes D4. Bishop takes D4. B5. Still very much theory. A3. Oh, he played a3. Yeah, it said a3, which is weird, but I'm getting used to it. Let's play a5. a5. Going for the throat. H4. H4. No fear of my pawn storm. What is h4? I want to play b4. Like b4. Open files. The bishop's on d7. So he doesn't have... A4. Let's play B4. B4. A takes B4. Um, A B. No. A takes B4. A takes B4. Knight A2. Wow, Knight A2. Hmm. Knight A2. So my pieces need improving. My rooks. On c8. My pawn's gonna fall, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know if I care too much. The bishop's on d4 still. The queen's on d2. Okay. Now I have to think. There's like bishop h6 ideas someday. It's queen c7, maybe. Queen c7, bishop e6. Let's do this. Queen c7. I want to play bishop e6 and someday mate on c2. Such a safe move. King b1. Yeah, the Ben Feingold rule. Bishop e6 takes, takes. Let's do it. Bishop e6. Pre move f e6. I just want to remove the bishop from b3. It's one of white's best defenders. I might be sacrificing my pawn structure, but... Bishop takes c6. F takes c6. Yeah. Knight takes b4. So I lost a pawn. But I've won. I have like three... I have two half-open files, one fully open file on the queen side. Um, I have a battery with the queen and the rook. I have ideas of like knight... Maybe knight d7 could be interesting. But the bishop's still on d4. Um, I could play queen a5. Queen a5. Could play rook b8. I could play rook a8. There's so many options. I could play e5. Um, I mean, rook a8 seems like the most flexible. Rook a8. Because I want to bring the other rook to like probably b8. And I want to bring the queen to a1 and just mate. B three. Wait, he said it said B three. It said B three. What is B three? Oh, B three is a move actually. I forgot the bishop saw on D four. Uh, I was already dreaming of like tactics. Queen. Queen B six and attack the knight. Hmm. Uh, is it working? It takes. Hmm. 
Okay, let's play Queen B6 attacking. Queen B6. Attacking the knight. Oh no, the knight's defended by the the bishop, I think. Bishop takes B6. No, oh, my queen. My be did I just do another Botez Gambit? Knight takes E4. I think I may have done another Botez Gambit. Down the queen. I'm trying to complicate things. I'm attacking the queen on d2. The king's still on b1. This is actually a really fascinating position. I may have sacrificed the queen on purpose. But maybe it was accidental. Maybe it was being influenced by the majestic Botez. But I have ideas. I'm threatening I'm threatening the queen. This knight on e4 is such a monster. Like the knight, the dragon bishop breathing fire, the rook on a8. Now this is beautiful. It's much more beautiful than the last thing that I said, which was beautiful. It might be dubious, but dubious things can also be beautiful, I think. I think there's only one move that I'm scared of. I'm really hoping he doesn't play it, but he might play it. Please don't play it. Obviously he sees the threat. I'm threatening Maiden 1 here with Rook A1 for those of you who didn't know. Which is why I played Queen B6. It's not easy for White to find a move actually, I don't think. Wait, the Rook's still on D1? The rook's still on d1, then. Oh, there's a very interesting line. I mean, he has to be running low on time, I would think. It should. There should be a function where it like announces a time when like a player is below a minute, or every minute that like passes. A lot of time is passing. What's going on now? I guess he's still thinking. Maybe I can take a nap. Bishop d4. Whoa, he made a move. Bishop d4. So blocking the mate? Yeah, the sad thing is... I'm going to be down a piece. Yeah, that was just a terrible idea. I have to take on d2. Knight takes d2 check. Rook takes d2. Let's play e5. e5. I'm still trying to fight. Rook, Bishop b2. Rook fb8. Rook fb8. Um, Knight d5. Knight d5. So rook b7, I guess. Rook b7. I'm sure I'm rook gaining e1. time. Wait, rook, rook e1? But both rooks can move to e1. Rook e1. Okay, now I'm confused. Knight's on d5. I don't know where that rook moved, but I'll guess it's somewhere on the first rank. Probably e1, like rook h e1. Um, let's play rook b a7. Rook b a7. Maybe I'll play e4 at some point. Sneaky ideas. c4. Whoa, c4. Nice move. Let's play rook b7. Rook b7. And play rook a b8 next. King c2. Rook a b8. Attacking b3. 
If B4, I probably have like E6. Rook D3. Rook D3. Ah, uh, nice move. So I can't play. Wait, can I play? Can't quite get away with that. I want to play e4, but it doesn't work. Let's play e6. E6. Attack the knight. Knight e3. Knight e3. Wait, now I'm maybe e4. Knight e4. Is there still a pawn in f3? Is there still a pawn in f3? Oh man. Um knight e3. Let's play king f7. King f7. Just want to centralize the king, knight I guess. F1. Knight f1. What does this move? Knight f1, king e7. King e7. Knight d2. D2. Oh, that's solid. It's very solid. Let's play bishop h6. Bishop h6. Bishop h6. I'm trying to use the bishop. Like my pawn. Knight e4. Knight e4. Another good move. Takes, takes, takes. Okay, let's try d5. b5. Expanding in the center. Very risky, but trying to create ideas. Open the position. Knight c5. Wow. So he doesn't take. Knight c5, maybe I can take on c4. Yeah, d takes c4. D takes c4. Attacking the rook and also threatening taking on b3. Um, I assume the bishop's still on b2, so if b takes c4, I can take on b2. Yeah, so I'm, I have some hope. Like, the center is kind of crumbling, but the queen side is also vulnerable. Rook c3. Rook c3, not a bad move. But now I can take on b3 with check. C b3. C b3. C takes b3 check. Okay. So white has, if I'm counting correctly, I have two pawns for a knight. White only has the three pawns on the king side. Like h2, g2, and f3. But my pawns are kind of all over the place. e6, e5, and b3. Knight's still on c5. The rook's on... Knight takes b3. The rook's on c3. Okay, so rook takes b3. Hmm. I could play bishop f4, but then there's g3. What to do? Maybe just bishop... Bishop g7 is ugly. King g7 is uglier. Bishop takes e5 is coming, unfortunately. So maybe like rook a8. Yeah, rook a8 actually looks reasonable. Rook a8. Want to play rook a2. Invade on the second rank. I mean, black can take the e pawn. I'm still not sure. Like I'm, I'm assuming the rook is on e1. Okay, now the knight's on c5. Hmm. I mean, rook c7, I guess. Rook c7. Really trying to fight. Rook takes c5. Rook takes e5, I think it's said. But now I have bishop g7. Ah, but then there's he can take on e6. It's not good. So rook c6, I guess. Rook c6. Defending, attempting to defend. So I just lost. I mean, now pawns are equal, like three on three. He's just up a full knight, holding on for dear life. Bishop a3. Bishop a3, that's terrifying. Wait, bishop a3? Oh my gosh, that's time trouble. Rook takes a3? 
Rook takes a3. And then king d6, I think. Rook takes a3. King d6. King d6, so the knight's pinned. The rook has nowhere to move on the fifth rank. Rook okay. takes c6 check. Ah, I forgot about that. King c5. King takes c5. Rook c3 check. No! My beautiful rook. King d5. King d4. Rook e takes c6. Rook e takes c6. Um, King e5? King e5. Rook 3c5 check. 3c5. King f4? King f4. Rook f6 check. King e3. Okay. Trying to run and take pawns. I have one precious bishop left on the board. I'm going to play king f2 next. Rook c7. King f2. Mm, bishop g5 g4. probably. Bishop g5. H takes g5. Oh my gosh. King f2. Oh no, king g3. King g3. Rook takes h7. King G2. This is so rook bad. King G3. Rook G takes G6. Oh my gosh. King G2. Rook G7. King G3. Rook G F7. King G2. G6. King G3. G7. King G2. G8 promotion queen. Oh my gosh. G8 promotion queen. King F3. No, where's my king? King F1. King F1. King. G5. King E1. G6. King F2. G7. King F1. Rook E6. What? King E2. King F1. Oh my gosh, I think I resign. Oh, King F2. King F2. I resign. That's too difficult. I was typing King F3. Good Queen game. <laughs> Good game, John Davis. White is victorious. Oh my gosh. That was so difficult. I was trying to make moves, but... Yeah, this King whole... <laughs> this whole Botez Gambit was... Slightly questionable. I guess that's a definition of a Botez Gambit. Um, bishop d4 is good. I actually didn't see bishop d4 coming. We played some... I actually played some main line. Um, a3, I think, is actually one of the better moves. I think knight d5. Knight d5 and also maybe e5 is one of the main lines. Um, I mean, I was feeling good around here, and then I got a little bit too creative. <laughs> Queen b6. I was trying to make it seem like I blundered. It was actually probably just a blunder. Um, at first, I was thinking Queen a7, but then Bishop takes a7, and that blocks my rook from mating. Um, yeah, I should probably... I don't know what I should do here. Maybe just rook, rook fb8 looks more attractive. I actually think this is a great line for white. Yeah, um, if you know how to defend, like this bishop on b3 is quite annoying. But still looked interesting. This position. I was actually thinking queen d4. I was calculating queen d4, some funny line, knight c3, king c1, and then it was like bishop h6 ideas. Or even just taking on d4 and rook a1 in the end. Um, why not queen a5? Yeah, queen a5 also. Oh, queen a5. Yeah. No, the bishop controls a1 and the knight controls a2. But maybe it's, it's better. Okay, chat. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs>